This is a video on Scratch 0.1 or Scratch 14th February 2004 edition, which is the beta version of Scratch. So without further ado, let's just open it. And once you open it, you can get that squeak and out look at these things. You can just give OK. And even one more thing, you can give OK. And let's just drag this into the middle. You don't need to put this full screen, it can be in a smaller screen, but I just do did it full screen. Also, let, I'm gonna look it from the top to the bottom, as that's what I like to do. And it's the correct behavior to do. As I have previously been in a, another channel and I made more than 250 videos on Scratch. And of course, they're extremely low quality videos for the most times. So, let's just do it. We can see that here the scratch return and there's nothing special in here and here we can see that we get a file menu this is what is a file menu and you can click it and see that there are some drop downs coming out and it's quite different from the scratch we see now and for creating new projects I'll not create it now but you can also open this from a particular location and also save it let's just save it for a while and call it example I mean example and I accept it and when we look over here we got example dot scratch over here actually before this actually it used to be called as dot sb but it's called as dot scratch in the older times because they don't have the particular extension which they thought they will get and let's just open it anyway you can of course notice some things when you press this go button we get a beautiful thing coming here a heart chain and it's written happy valentine's day and I don't know if 14th February 2004 is on Valentine's Day. If it is, okay. And this is quite an amazing project. This one is not created by me. It's a default project which opens when you open this scratch version. And you can also see that presentation size. You can see that we can change the canvas size, which is interesting. But I don't know how much the value was before. We can clear pen trails and we can do stepping, but I'm not going to change any value. And let we can also shift click this thing, and you'll get some things like turn full, full screen, fill screen on. Fill screen on means you can turn it off as well. But turning it off, you'll get the squeak or menu over here where you can edit the code of scratch, which I don't know much to do, but let's just try maybe in the future. And I'm just filling it, I'm just turning the filling on. I mean, we just shift click it. Yeah, we turned it on so that we can see the full screen properly yeah we have done it now we can see that this is an this is an arrow key and this is for running the project whole project let's just choose a sprite from here i will just explain about these things later actually this is what is called as an block palette and this is the script palette here i mean script area let's just discuss about it later you can see this one is for stamping or cloning the sprite we can which for copying the same sprite again and you can of course right click many things over here which are quite amazing but i have never checked it out before and this cut is used for deleting items means deleting the sprites from here of course you can choose sprites by right clicking over here only which i'm doing and then you can also undo things i don't know what is this I just throw it out but anyway it's out of this scratch project you can also delete this but I don't know how this undo is happening I think this was there in the project already and that's a mistake and here's a minimize and maximize thing zoom zoom in and zoom out and let's just cho choose back arrow keys because we want to drag blocks and you can click here for a music sprite actually before this there was no tabs I mean tabs so we can see that we got the sound sound blocks over here of course it's amazing but let us turn back to the first thing we looked at because that's what we want sprite one and let's just look at the next thing let us delete this for a while or oh, wait let's just test it out I just forgot that we can test it out I just view script and view its block we can do like this or we can click the correct thing over here but I like to do this and let's just not re record sound and play the default sound let's just right click this and let's just press edit sound there's a already a sound here okay that looks fine and it's a music still there in scratch 1.4 and 
let's just see over here how these things work basically you can see that when this go button is pressed it should wave this thing waving means broadcasting and this one is when I receive something actually it's in the form of flag so that kids can understand easily but of course now this text based things more and these flag things are not meant for this flag this is go just means flag and this waving means different color of flags which means broadcasting a flag but only eight things are possible which is a problem that's why it's maybe removed and you can see there's also a waving for flag of pink so let's just put waving flag of pink this is one bug here which we can notice also to get this block such, such as this thing we can look around here and see that it's not available here let's just scroll down and see yeah waving is allowed here We can just drag the wave block from here or just take it over from here. This is what the color they use. We just take pink over here. And of course there are bugs. That's what we can see over here. This cannot be resetted for now. And yeah, now we can see. Let's just test it out and see. We just replay it. I don't know what happened to the sound. Maybe I have to test it out a little bit. Or maybe there's a bug in this thing. You can see there's a sound here. But it's gliding has been broken, I think so. Let's just check it out again. Something has happened to this glide. So I think we have to reopen it. Maybe. Because there's a bug. Of course you cannot close it. You have to end the process. And once you end it, you can just reopen it like that. But don't, you cannot directly close it, I already told. Let's just give OK, OK. And give full screen. Just shift, click it and turn the fill mode on. And I just keep a sound block there. And I just view block, view script. And then just pick back those blocks and keep it back there. And I just put pink wave block. We've seen that that bug has come, which is what caused a problem. Now we can see the sound is playing when I click it. You can see when it glides and comes, the sound plays. And I can understand this because of my high amount of experience. Otherwise, it's very complicated for general scratchers and uh, yeah we can delete this back and we got it they just choose the sprite again here and here you can see which sprite we are in and we can also edit the name of the sprite like that but we just look at the next thing this is called media blocks which are still uh, available in the squeak code of scratch 1.4 as well but we cannot load it there properly and here we can see it's quite interesting that we can load videos but I don't have any test video and also it failed to load mostly as it has bugs and there's also one thing for sensor board and let's just click board one here and here's no option for board one so I don't know what to do I think we cannot control this because there's some bugs over here again let's just delete this thing oh sorry I thought there was one option let's just right click it and view its blocks but we cannot view its palette which is a problem Palette means just like view script. So again, let's just switch to some sprite here. And we have looked all the top of top things. Also, you can when you're running the project like that, you can also stop it in between, which is quite interesting. But this is just a button which we can create also. In order to create a button, you can just click this and keep it over here. This will only wa wave the yellow flag. I don't know. You can delete the button. I think we have to right click and delete. Yeah, that's possible but I just click go again also you can just create buttons of anything like I mean like an any even block over here which you get from here script hat and any hat block I meant and still even then it was called hat block it's quite interesting the purple button is not working sometime I think I just press go or stop this thing the purple button is not working well but 
it only works when you, this thing gets activated you can see it works like this you can create buttons such as that which is quite interesting in the older version of scratches I mean scratch and you can look at the block palette by choosing the correct sprites block palette and correct sprites this thing which is quite annoying but still fine and you can see these things yeah and let's just look at the black block palette just for fun fun purposes you can see what all is available even forever if block was never there there is a forever block and it's quite tough to snap things together you can see that you have to perfectly align it otherwise it's gonna not gonna snap in you can see now it's snapped in the c shape blocks are quite complicated and you cannot just directly throw them inside you have to just you can also choose true and false from here which is quite okay i think we have to delete this thing you can just oh i didn't mean copying deleting you can do deleting also there's a repeat block and while block over here and also wait until block over here done and answer i don't know what's the answer block let's just drag it and see you can also test things out it's quite still fine actually answer block i don't know what is what's it doing at all i think it's not a working block yet and also you can wait for a few seconds which is still possible and you can also wave flags which is just like this broadcasting and this is like receiving and there are only two hat blocks over here as you can see script script hat script hat is for creating your own script or like make your own block which is a modern feature in scratch which was not there at that time but i but it's there at that time which was re which which was removed later and again added in scratch 2.0 and was continued in 3.0 and these are the operator blocks which you can see all those operators over here and we got a mouse a sensing blocks like mouse down mouse x mouse y mouse touch which is quite interesting maybe let's just create an interesting script there's a no if else over here which is a problem but come on just created like just now created it's a beta version which most of them don't know how to access or i don't know if it's available publicly this one 0 0.1 but now it's available let's just drag this thing inside can see now it's gonna work very differently and of course we cannot touch it I think so I'm just forgetting all those rules here so let me just throw it back into the correct place maybe for touching it we can maybe like move forward this is quite interesting thing okay now it works but let this try something okay it works you can test when you touch this thing it's moving forward you can look at this quite interesting yeah, it's interesting thing that's how for if works okay again I'm forgetting that you cannot drag things out like nothing has happened like that you can delete it however right clicking it and deleting you have to try by doing right clicks which are in the mo most of the drop downs are right clicks but some of these works even with left click or like normal clicks I mean these are for mouse sensing things and also like key sensing which means keyboard inputs and hardware inputs like that but now they are merged with the sensing things and also there are some move blocks over here moving and resizing blocks also the pen down as then the moving blocks only and I'm not gonna test it out because we cannot test all the features in one video it's too much long you can also just do some sensing blocks thing it's quite interesting even at that time and you can copy these things which are the general options and you can also add oh sorry disabling mouse click you can do or enabling it I think it's for the button and it's quite more complicated than I thought because I cannot get all the experience I can this is more like a button I think so or I don't know why it's not working it's like a sensing block maybe so I don't know what is it meaning 
okay it's an hat block of course I understood that you can use this hat block or this over here which are what the features are grow is running stop grow like that and many more things and these are the variables or a default default reporters you can make a new variable as well you can see we got a new where over here and also you can set get a set block from here we can see that while clicking this you get set block just delete it back if you click this you get set block and this is for the reporter block which you can place it inside these things and I don't know why it's transforming into an like and something else like what I meant like it's quite weird like slider or something it is sup not supposed to change like that but anyway in older version of scratch it's not available all the features and it's a reporter block indeed and okay that's fine and let's just click on sound thing and see what all blocks are there You can see almost all are same and we got a sound block instead of move blocks we cannot move the sound of course and you can play from particular second we want wanted to let me just press this thing this is quite an issue here it will never stop until you do something to it need to add a go block over here and I don't know how to do anyway let me just choose a pink flag of course it doesn't work some cases which is a problem of course but I don't know and yeah that's about this thing and yeah this is called block palette where the palette are and you cannot drag this thing over here then you'll choose sprite 2 you have to choose sprite 1 of the block palette if you choose sprite 2 of the block script mode and you, can, you should choose script